Greetings collectors, followers and friends, Tom Hughes here with some more thoughts on painting. Now, I have an interesting proposition for you uh, that I hope you will be interested in and I would like your feedback. So, I want to start using Patreon. Uh, for those that don't know, Patreon is a platform where artists uh, like myself can offer content, video content or other content for a paid subscription. Now you can break this subscription up into tiers, so tier one might be five pounds a month, tier two might be ten pounds a month, tier three might be fifteen pounds a month. It's up to me, uh, the content creator, to choose what goes into those tiers and how much they are. Um, I have come to the conclusion that my reach and the value that I can provide for my audience would be greatly increased if I used Patreon and I used it effectively. So I currently teach, as some of you uh, may know, I do one-to-one -one, um, plein air painting tut uh, tutorials, teaching, where people come to Bristol, we go out for the day. Uh, I also offer critiques over Zoom chats for people that want that can't that maybe live in another country that want to talk about their work and discuss how they can improve it improve it and move forward the trouble with these approaches is it's me and one person or it's me and three people in a group setting um i'm fully aware that there's lots of you that are interested in having tuition from me and having some guidance but you live too far away or it's not practical for whatever reason. So this is where Patreon comes in. Um, when I started Thoughts on Painting, the, this YouTube channel, the idea was never to make a, uh, never to produce it as a teaching aid. It wasn't um, how to paint. It was watch me paint, listen to me chat, and follow me around the southwest of the United Kingdom while I go out painting more of a sort of entertainment experience rather than a very sort of specific structured uh, teaching series. But I have a feeling there is and would be a demand for that, predominantly from you, certain members of my YouTube audience, not all of you, but some of you. So here's the idea, okay, and it's going to change a little bit, it might change a lot, but the, those changes and the structure of it is largely going to come from us communicating about what that structure might be and how it might work. I have been back through my entire back catalogue of Thoughts on Painting episodes. I've got all the raw, unedited footage still on my computer. So I've got full length video of every single painting. I've gone through and I've selected around 12 of the paintings that I thought were the highest quality and they're split between genres. So there's some uh, urban ones, there's some coastal ones, there's some landscape ones. Um, what I'm currently in the process of doing is putting the full length video start to finish, you know, almost every single brushstroke, a few edits, um, but about an hour to an hour and a half video and taking the audio off and replacing that with in-depth technical narration. What I'm doing, as I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, and where, how it works. So brush selection, hue, tone, edges, composition, everything. All the stuff that I don't mention on Thoughts on Painting because I'm chatting about stuff. Uh, and all the stuff that you probably want to know, some of you. So. I want to put those videos onto Patreon. Um, the idea currently, and as I said, this may change, is the first tier would be access to one video a month, tier two would be two videos a month, and tier three would be three videos a month, uh, and then maybe a fourth tier, who knows? It's a moving target and will change. I need to know from you what you are most interested in seeing from me. And then between that, between each other, we're going to be able to work out something because I have to be happy with what I'm producing or I won't have 
the energy or drive to do it. And you have to be interested in what I'm producing or you're not gonna to wanna to pay for it. Now, I think I can create some real value. If you think about buying a painting DVD of one of your favorite artists, there might be three or four paintings on that uh, with technical narration, and it may be um, 15 or 20 pounds uh, for the DVD. Well, if you were paying, for example, 15 pounds tier three for Patreon, you would get three, maybe four videos uh, every single month. Plus, every tier would be eligible to have access to the Discord community. If you're not familiar what Discord is, have a little Google. I'm not that familiar with it right now. I've set it up, but I haven't opened it because I haven't started my Patreon. But as I understand it, it's basically a chat room, private chat room, invite only, where you can do everything from post pictures, post video, everyone join uh, with webcams on or just audio. Um, you can do polls. You can basically, it's a, gonna be a community area for everyone who is a paying Patreon subscriber to meet, talk, chat, share images of their own work, discuss plein air painting or all painting in general. Um, that brings me to the next thing. Thoughts on painting has traditionally, historically been a plein air painting channel. It hasn't been uh, still life or portrait painting. Now I have put some portraits on uh, more recently, um, but I think the audience that I built has very been, very much been built around plein air painting. Now, those of you that are interested in potentially joining the Patreon and being a subscriber, I need to know what you're most interested in because these days, uh, just because of personal circumstances, two young kids in school, one car doing the school run, having to pick them up at three, things like this, it makes going out for a full day sort of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. plein air painting or a three day trip to Cornwall it's much, much, much harder for me to do that these days. So I think doing videos in the studio as well as outside is gonna work best. So if I did three videos a month, one might be plein air, one might be a studio painting from a photo, which I'm just as interested in as plein air, and I will go into why during the videos and one might be a, a portrait, again, from a photo, or it might be a still life from life in the studio. I have some questions for you. If you could reply, I know this is a bit of an ask, but if you could reply in the comments to this video, numbering these questions with your answer, it will help me tremendously, and it will help me build the Patreon content that you would want. Okay, here we go. Uh, question one, which I briefly just went over. What subject matter are you most interested in seeing me paint? Plan air, studio, uh, paintings from photos, or still life from life? That's question one. Question two, what sort of Patreon content would you most want? Do you want in-depth technical tutorials, process paintings? Um, do you, would you like the high res JPEG photo of either what I was seeing when I was painting plein air or the photo I'm painting from when I'm in the studio. So you can do your own version and compare it to mine after following my technical uh, process uh, narrative. Um, would you want me to attempt to paint your photos? Now, this is a very specific thing. I'm super interested in getting, allowing you into the creative uh, process and collaborating with you. I would love to get selfies from you. If you're comfortable doing that, you're over 18 and you're not gonna put nudity in it. If you're comfortable sending me a selfie um, of you 
doing whatever, looking at the camera, not looking at the camera, um, that would be awesome. And I would then choose maybe one a month to paint, which I think would be super fun. It's a way to get to know you guys, to create more of a community vibe, because it would be us. It would be, you know, me painting you and it would be sharing it within our group. Um, and I like hoodies, baseball caps, uh, beanies, glasses, beards, all those things. Now, you don't have to have that in the selfie, but all those things, I, I, they're just uh, things that I think can make a portrait more interesting. And I like painting them and I like wearing them. It's just a, it's just a thing. Um, question three, what is the maximum you would consider paying each month? assuming that the content was exactly what you wanted. So by that, I mean, you feel like you're getting a huge amount of value. It's just what you want to see and hear and know from me and about me. What's the maximum that you could afford? Um, think seriously about that. It's not a pie in the sky question. It's a real sort of practical concern. Um, question four. Are you interested in the technical voiceovers for 12 old uh, episodes of Thoughts on Painting? Um, it's something I thought about about a year ago, but never got around to. And I've already started recording them and uh, I'm really enjoying it, watching those uh, old episodes. Um, and I haven't forgotten what I did at the time. I know how I paint, so there's no problem with doing a, uh, a technical narration over the top. Um, would that be of interest? Because I know some of you have watched some of the episodes five times. Question five. Do you currently use Patreon? If so, which artists do you follow? Uh, who's doing it right? Who's like that you know of, if you know? Who's the gold standard? Because there may be structures that I can emulate. Not necessarily content, but structures and ways of going about it. Um, I would rather learn from the best and hit the ground running. Um, question six, do you use Discord and would you like me to? Would that be interesting to you as part of the uh, Patreon offering? And Discord would be every tier. If you pay one or two pounds a month, tier one, you would get access to the Discord. Um, question seven, would you be interested in tuning into a live stream so uh you can watch me working as i work the only thing i'm thinking with that is it may be hard for me to follow along with your uh, uh your questions as they come in um i could probably set my phone up and, and and see that um it's a technical thing i need to look into but it's a possibility um question eight what country do you live in? <laughs> That's an easy one. I'm just curious. Uh, analytics tell me my audience is 50% British, 50% American, and a few other countries, um, mainly scattered around Europe. But those analytics was one of the things actually that made me think I, 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 I need to go onto Patreon. Accessing the American market, and I love the States. I've spent a lot of time there, and I have friends and family there. Hello. Um, I want to be able to communicate with you and offer valuable content to you without having to get on a plane, and I think I can do that with Patreon. So that's it for now. I've started to set the studio up uh, to make all this possible. Like I said, I'm doing the um, technical voiceovers on the old footage and I'm thinking about this constantly and I'm really excited about it. I hope you are too. Let me know in the comments, number your replies uh, to match the numbers on my questions and let's see if we can make this happen. Thank you so much. <laughs>